got the plague? Then it's time to call the doctor. Plague Doctors, the plague's worst nightmare, but your best friend. Call us today, because there's no better time to not have the plague. Hi, my name is Chris, and I like to make things. Today's project is a Plague Doctor mask. So grab your scissors and cut out the pattern, which should leave you with a whole bunch of pieces. Take your pieces and carefully trace around them on the craft foam, making sure to mark the alignment points. When you need to cut two of a certain piece, flip it over before you trace it on the foam. I like to add an A after the number so I know which ones were the flipped over ones. You can mark the rivet spacing by pushing a pen through the paper on the dots. Grab yourself a super sweet cutting surface and start carefully cutting out your pattern directly on top of the pen line. And now you can grab your glue gun and go crazy. Get a silicone baking sheet because that'll make your gluing super way easier. Start by gluing the center line of the two piece ones together. Glue about 5 centimeters at a time and then hold them together, pressed down against the silicone baking sheet. Work your way down the edge until the whole thing is glued. If you do have any ugly glue spots, you can use your glue gun to smooth them out. A sip of tea. And now we'll glue the centers of the two piece twos together. Also gluing the V-shaped cutouts along the edge. Now let's attach the beaky looking part to the part with the eyes. Glue the two piece threes together down the center line and glue piece 3 in the corner where pieces 1 and 2 meet, lining up alignment points C and E. Glue down to the bottom corner of the side with mark E on it, but don't glue farther than that yet. Repeat on the other side. Hehe, <laughs> talking bird mask. Now, to glue that mouth closed, we'll glue the edge of piece 3 to the flat side of piece 1. When you get to the tip, that doesn't work anymore, so just use lots of glue and fill in the gaps. Grab piece number 13 and glue the ends together. The edge with the arrows on it are where you'll glue the front eyepiece rim. To get it nice and even, glue a little bit on two opposite sides first, then you can glue the rest of it down. Attach the eye cups to the mask with the wider part going to the outside. Now, go make yourself some toast. We need a piece of plastic and a peanut butter lid is perfect. And toast with peanut butter is a tasty treat. Don't worry, no one will miss it. Trace piece 20 on the plastic lid and cut it out. Bend up the little tab, place it on piece 19 so the tab sits just behind the thinner band when you wrap it around. Trace around it so you know its position and glue it into place. Now grab the flat end of piece 17, line it up with piece 19 and give it a little push. That'll help you know where to cut for the tab to come through. Then glue it into place. Wrap the thin tab around and glue it, leaving a gap big enough for the other band to fit through. Glue the bands to the mask and then figure out where you'd want the holes for your head size. Add a few marks to either side just in case your head grows or shrinks, and cut the holes. Glue pieces 7 and 8 together, and here again we're gluing the edge of piece 8 to the flat part of piece 7. Once one side is glued, curve piece 7 around and glue the other side. The very tip is tricky, so use some extra glue in that area. Crease the fold lines on pieces 5 and 6, and glue the two ends together. While we're gluing annoying little bits and pieces together, why not take pieces 9 and 10? Glue one side of piece 10 onto piece 9, and then curve it around like a mini half funnel and glue the other side down. Now glue the centers of the two piece 14s together, then glue them on top of the seams already on the mask. Glue the nose pieces onto the nose one at a time, overlapping them. And on goes the fancy pants swirly bit that took forever to cut out. Grab strip 15 and glue it straight over the center seam, and strip 16 over the seam by the eye. Don't forget to glue on the funny horn shaped thingies on the side. 
Punch or cut out eight 12 millimeter discs and stack them up, alternating with piece 22 until you have a stack of four. Repeat for the second stack and glue them both on the mask. It's now time to make a whole bunch of dots with our leather punch. These are gonna become the rivets on the mask. Apply a bit of super glue where you want them and then glue them in place. I used the back of a paintbrush dipped in a tiny little bit of water so I could pick them up and put them where they needed to go. Cut some more discs and glue them onto the band. Take a trip to the garage and find your weed whacker, line trimmer, whippersnipper, whatever you want to call it. And steal a little bit of that line. Light a candle for romance. And carefully heat and bend the wire like this. Using a pin, poke a hole in the top of your circle stack and your funnel piece and glue the line in place. For the second piece, we're going to bend the ends at 90 degrees to each other. Glue a disc on, poke some more holes, and glue it in place. Now you can paint it black, and then paint it brown. I just used black as my first coat because it was my cheapest paint. Anywhere that's going to be silver, you want black underneath, so you can paint some parts of it black again. Once the paint's dry, grab your metallic luster. I used the color Champagne Ice wherever I wanted it to look bronze, and the color Silver Spark where I wanted it to look silver. If there are some places you can't reach with your finger, just grab a stiff bristled brush and apply a small amount of the paste. Now go to your local thrift store, buy some super sweet sunglasses, and walk around in slow motion. And then take them apart. Trace piece 21 onto the lens and cut it out. I use a jeweler saw, they're super awesome and pretty cheap. Glue the lenses in and you are done. Now you can go be a doctor. Or just go dance around. Thanks for watching another one of my tutorials. You can purchase the pattern by clicking on the link provided here. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for mobile devices, in which case you can click the little um, eye in the top right corner, which will give you a link that you can click and you can get my pattern. Thanks again for watching. Don't get the plague. I don't use lids anymore. I use lids. <laughs> <laughs> Me. I do.